Oil levels, Mercedes SL, let's get straight into it. It can be easy to forget how to do this. First of all, please don't start your car because otherwise you've got to wait another 10, 15 minutes for the oil level to settle. So before you've even started the car, when the car's cold, like the first thing next day, do this. Let's move on, cause it's time to move on. Turn the key, but don't start the engine. If you start the engine, you're gonna have to wait 10, 15 minutes for the oil level to settle and it'll say so on the dash like this. Using the left hand buttons, bottom and then top, the way that I remember it is, it's always the one that it's the most unobvious. So at the moment I've got my phone connected, you can see left hand side it says OnePlus, that's the name of the phone. Right, if I use the menu button now, there's audio, navigation, the malfunction memory screen, thankfully there's no faults. To reset, it's not that one. This screen here with the temperature. When you see that screen with the temperature, now press the up arrow, this one here. And you can see there that it's got, this is my tripometer. So I've done 3,100 miles. Press it one more time, the up arrow. You've got the little spanner icon turning up. You've got the service, which for me is in 5,200 miles. Press the up arrow one more time. And there you go. There's your little oil can. Okay, and importantly, it says here, Turn on ignition to see engine oil level, but please don't start the car. As I said, if you start the car, you're gonna to have to wait 10, 15 minutes for the oil level to settle down again. Ignition key is on. Right, one more click, all the lights come on the dash, and here we go. Engine oil level measuring now, left-hand side. Make sure the car is level when it says the right-hand side. And there we go. It says add one liter to reach the maximum oil level. So there you go, now I know to top up the car with one litre and I'm all golden. Job done. I tell you, it's a bit awkward trying to find that menu. So hopefully this uh, little video will give you some clues on what to do for the next time when you've got to find that oil. Just remember, don't start the car. That's the key thing. Otherwise, you're going to sit around 10, 15 minutes or so. I hope this helps you. See you on the next one.